Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello. If you're not new around here, hey. <laughs> uh, I'm setting a timer really, <coughs> really fast because I really don't want to go over 15 minutes. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm trying to do this fast, like an introduction. Um, so if you didn't watch the speed build, oh well, hello, hi. Welcome to the Sims 4 Hunger Games. Um, this is like season two because season one got canceled. Um, but this is season two featuring YouTuber boys. Woo. <laughs> um, so we have <gasps> we have a breach. We have a breach. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. <sighs> also, I'm sick, so don't come for my voice. I know it sounds like I'm going through the puberty. I have my water here. Um, anyway, YouTuber boys, um, I will introduce you to the boys later. I'm going to show you the house first. But if you watch the speed build and the creation of the boys, then you'll know who they are. Anyway, so this is the house that I created. These are the dungeons that um, the losers will go into. Right here is a simplified living room slash office slash bar. It's not that big um, because they need to earn it. Um, over here we have a fun station. So if you need to play chess... <coughs> practice your fitness we have a laundry room because one of the losers will also I'm thinking that like because there's like three teams right actually hmm. we'll figure out who the maid's gonna be later obviously it has to be the losing team right so the losing team will go in these little dungeons for a little bit <coughs> and then they'll be in charge of cleaning up anyways this is a kitchen I went with basic black and white things because like I said, black and white house. Um, and then upstairs, <coughs> upstairs we have the red team, the white team, and the green teal team. <coughs> and then over here we have the winner's quarter, quarters, it's the black and white theme as the black and white house. We have the black room, the white room, the white bathroom, the black bathroom, and then a nice little kitchen area with everything they need to keep their needs up and then out here we have a little terrace or balcony two uh chairs for if, if anyone wants to tan we have like the banners <laughs> oh. yeah um over here is the obstacle course that we are going to get into today two in the morning so i'm actually going to have the guys um come over here i'm going to have them claim their bed and as i'm claiming their beds i'm going to introduce you to everyone so we're gonna start from Mr. James Charles. We have James Charles in the house, Mr. Um, Beauty Guru. We're going to have him assign this bed and we're gonna have him go ahead and go to sleep. And then we also have Patrick Star. They are team two, as you can see, they're in order. Um, team two is the MUAs, aka, AKA the um, Makeup artist beauty guru team. Team two. Team one is Berlizzi himself. Um, <laughs> I have his name as Ber Berlin Edmund because everybody else had like two names except Berlin. His is just Berlizzi. And I didn't want to put Berlizzi easy because I mean, I guess I could have. That would have been funny, but I didn't want to do that. And then we have Mr. Corey Kitchen. I don't know why he has a nose ring. My bad, that wasn't supposed to, supposed to be like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna have him go to sleep as well. And then on team, oh, they're the gamers. They're the gamer boys. Then over here we have the vlogging boys. We have Mr. Travi Williams. If you don't know who he is, you might know him as Travi Based. Um, he, he's going to Twitch now. Does he also have a freaking nose ring? Oh, I was about to say, no way. And then we have Mr. Joey Graceffa. Ugh, I love him. My horoscope zodiac sign twin. Taurus, dang all day. Um, Mr. Animal Lover. So, um, as I get these guys in, we're gonna get them in. We're gonna speed up a little bit. We're gonna get them all in. And as the gates close, they are going to be permanently locked in this we're, we're they're locked in they're locked into the black and white house they're not going to be able to leave unless i tell them to let me explain to you how this goes as they're all getting some sleep um we'll go to fast forward basically the hunger games is what the hunger Games says it is 
um there will be death <laughs> basically after today i will let uh the guys do whatever it is they want to do now this means that um their needs may not be up when um it's time for them to go do a challenge or something it may not be up um that's on them they have to make sure that their needs are met um and if it's not well then they might just lose the challenge um the winners as i've said will go over here the losers will be trapped in the dungeon for at least 12 hours but those are for just um obstacle course rounds like this one whoever finishes we're gonna have um people playing chess excuse me we're gonna have people building pumpkins doing the bonsai tree and then making a, making a painting and the first person who finishes wins for their team and their team gets to go over here now there will be single rounds here and there so yeah that's basically this game i don't control them except for right now like i said i want all their things up but eventually um it'll it'll just be on them so for this first round like i said it'll be um it'll be uh their health should be up anyways you see what's happening here it says do you think i'm making good life decisions with my life joey asks and patrick says nope <laughs> yeah he's probably right because somebody's gonna die so we're gonna have james charles play with berlin Patrick is going to play with Joey and then Travi is going to play with Corey and as soon as it starts that means the games have begun. Let's go. Go, go, go guys, go. Patrick. Okay, you guys are going for it, you're doing it. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to All right, we have somebody who finished. So Travi finished and it says he won. So that means Travi's moving on and Corey has to go against somebody else. So Travi so far is in first place. So Travi's gonna go ahead and move on to carving a pumpkin. He's gonna carve a plastic orange pumpkin. And then we're gonna have Berlin. Berlin is playing against James. So James won, so that means James is in second place. And so James is going to come over here. He's also going to carve a classic orange a pumpkin. And Patrick lost. <laughs> so that means Joey is in. So that means Green Team is winning. So Joey's in third place. So that means we're going to have an odd number. So who's the last place? Okay, how we're going to judge this is who gained the fastest logic um let's see so berlin's logic is there Corey's logic is oh we can actually do this it's 47 Corey's is berlin's is 46 and patrick's is 34 so i'm gonna go ahead and have Corey move on because he does have 47 so that means Corey is in fourth place so far and we're gonna have Berlin and Patrick duke it out. So I'm gonna have Corey come over here. Do I have Joey going to carve a pumpkin? I don't know. So he's also gonna carve a classic orange pumpkin. And then we're gonna have Corey come over here to the fourth place spot. And he's also gonna carve an orange classic pumpkin. And then we're gonna have Patrick Starr and Berlin play a game together. And we're gonna see who moves on. We have Joey, I mean Travi. Travi's moving the fastest, I can say that. Travi's been doing good this whole time, dude. But Corey started doing his a little bit faster. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on. And then Berlin and uh, Patrick, they're still duking it out. And they're having a conversation with Corey. He's just going on. Corey don't be talking to nobody. He really don't. Corey's moving real fast. And then 
Berlin cheats over here in the uh, the chess tournament. So I wonder if that means that he's gonna get ahead. And we have uh, Travi was the first one over here, but look how far behind he is. And then same with James. James is so far behind. It's because they're talking. While they're talking, Joey and Corey, they are moving pretty fast and they are neck and neck. So let's see who's gonna win over here. Whoever wins over here, they're in, and whoever loses is out. So they're really fighting for their lives on who gets to go in the dungeon and who doesn't get to go in the dungeon. Look at this, Corey's almost done. Joey's falling behind. Corey is done. He's done with his thing. And just like that, Corey moves to the first place spot. So now Corey, we're gonna have Corey come over here. He's gonna go to the bonsai tree in front of him. He's going to shape it. And he's gonna shape it to whatever he desires. Because, all right, we have, we have a victor over here. Let's see, who won? Is it Berlin or is it Patrick? Berlin wins and that means Patrick loses. So Patrick is last place. Patrick Star loses. So that means automatically the white team is in the death round because Patrick lost. <sighs> Dang Pat. So I'm gonna have um, Berlin, he's gonna come over here. He's gonna start carving his pumpkin. And Joey is finished with his. So now he's going neck to neck with Corey too. So just like that, Joey, is now in second place. I'm writing this down, guys. This is getting crazy. So we have Corey and Joey. They're going neck and neck. <laughs> Freaking James is still so far behind because he's sitting up here talking to Travi. Tra look at Travi and look at James. Now let's look at Berlin. Berlin is moving fairly quickly. He's not talking to anybody. He's doing what he needs to do to win this game. He's trying to catch up with Corey. Whereas uh, we already got one one down, James. You don't want to be in the dark room too. So let's let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's look, at, let's look at Berlin's again. Look at how fast he's caught up to Travi and James because they're on the same, they're around the same area. But look at Berlin, he's just zooming. Whereas Corey, he's going, and so is Joey. Joey's just a little bit behind on Corey, but he's in it to win. I like that spirit. I like that spirit. He's going. We're going to fast forward. Corey's done. Corey's done. He's moved. I'm telling you, he's in it to win it, you guys. So now he's going to go up. He's ready to win this. So he's going to do a small classic painting. Let's see if he can win it for his team. <coughs> Joey's done, so he's also gonna move up to the small classic painting. Let's see what's going on in here. He's getting distracted by Patrick. Now I'm not allowed to, actually, you know what? I am gonna cancel it. I am gonna cancel it because that's my bad. I wasn't paying attention to him like I should've been. And look at this, look at this. Travi was the first one to be on this pumpkin carpet and he's getting distracted by the losing team. Isn't that wild? Joey is pulling so much weight for this team. <coughs> and just like that, because Berlin, he was in fifth place, and now he's already jumped to... <coughs> my bad, my time right now. Berlin's jumped to third place, just like that, knocking Travi and James down to fourth and fifth. You know, like I said, already second place. If you're in second place, you're automatically moved to the death round. First place, you don't have to be in the death round. So... Uh, Berlin and I mean Corey and Berlin look at Corey's Corey's is almost done Corey versus Joey who's not gonna be in the death round Corey said I'm not dying today so I don't know they're in the same area so we're gonna see who does it and look at Berlin Berlin's just going and I'm, I'm really surprised at Travi I am really surprised at Travi I'm gonna be honest I didn't see this coming from him I, I saw this uh... I don't know Patrick enough but <gasps> whoa Just like that, Joey took first place. Joey took first place and won, won it for the team. Even though, even though his teammate is slacking, he said, I'm not gonna die today. Corey was just a little bit slower. He literally just put his paint stick down, paint stick his painting brush down. The green team does not have to com compete in the death round. Now, this does suck for Corey. This does suck for the red team because that does mean they do have to enter the death round. But he did fight for it. He fought, he fought. So let's see who's uh who's gonna come in fifth place. <coughs> and so far, Berlin, he's not even fighting for third place. Berlin is just in third place. He just is. Because these two love <laughs> These two all gaggers down here, man. They're just doing their own thing. They're not even, it's like they're not even trying at this point. 
I don't know. I feel like this is gonna take forever. I might just have to cancel their talking interactions, but I feel like that's not fair because they've been talking this whole time. Anyway, it's like they're not. They don't even care. They don't even care. <coughs> but they should care because whoever's in fifth place is gonna go in this other room. So they should be a little bit worried about what's going to happen. You know, and Berlin is done. Berlin's in third place. And while you know he doesn't, he does have to go into the death round. You know, he did what he had to do. <coughs> so you know, okay. We're trying to see who our mates are gonna be, you know? And uh, Travi and James are just out here lollygagging. Alright, Travi's done. So Travi's finally gonna move up to the bonsai trees. And hopefully he can get this done. So, you know, I mean, the one team is, is just not doing, is not, they're not serving. They are not serving, to be honest. And uh, honestly, I, like I said, I'm a little disappointed in Travi because he let Joey pull all of that weight and he didn't even try, you know? Look at him. Now he's moving along like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Maybe I should actually do what I'm supposed to do. So far, it isn't looking good for James. The white team in general is not looking good. It is not looking good. <laughs> Alright, James is done with his bonsai tree. It's not looking good. I, don't, I, think, I think we already know what's going to happen here. I think we know who's going to lose, who's going to win. <coughs> Alright. Oh, he's not done yet. And look at them talking again. This is what got them into this mess in the beginning. Talking. And <clears throat> just like that, Travi wins. So, you know, like I said, this is just, this is just a little disappointing, you know. I just, I I expected better from Travi. And, and James, I'm gonna be honest, I, I expected better from them. So, I mean, next episode, they're really going to have to, uh, to pull their weight because now James and Patrick have to go into the chambers. <laughs> they have to do that, and uh, there's there's only so much in here for them. Um, so I'm gonna unlock this for everyone, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have James because we already know it's gonna take them till midnight to get in here. So. I'm gonna have James go in that room. Patrick's gonna come in this room. They will have, they will be in there from midnight until noon. And that's how we end this episode. So we have the green team. The green team is number one. Look at them over here. Travis probably like, my bad, bro. <coughs> and Joey being the nice guy that he is. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Um, Maybe next time you like actually uh, you actually do something. Maybe I don't know. <sighs> so the green team is safe from the death round. So that means Joey and Travi have immunity. They have complete immunity. I'm writing in my notes. Even though it's a bit unfair, I'm gonna be honest. It is. It is, but we're doing teams. We're doing teams. Maybe next time it'll be singles. So that means that Corey and Berlin and James and Patrick both have to do death rounds tomorrow. This is gonna suck. I don't want anyone to die. Especially a particular person that me and my roommate were laughing about. So we're going to see what happens. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please let me know down below. Who are you looking forward to seeing winning? I, let me know um, what you think is going to happen. Because it's getting crazy, okay? Uh, anyway. I hope you guys have a good day, a good morning, a good whatever, and I'll see you guys later.